It looks like fireflies flickering in the darkness. Slowly, more and more amass, lighting up the screen in large chunks and clusters. But these are not some images about insects. It's a simulation of the early universe, a time after the Big Bang when the cosmos transformed from a place of utter darkness to a radiant, light-filled environment. The stunning images are part of an extensive suite of simulations created by researchers at the Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian, the MIT, and the Max Planck Institute for Astrophysics. The simulations represent a monumental advancement in simulating the formation of the first galaxies and ryanization, the process by which neutral hydrogen atoms in space were transformed into positively charged, or ionized, hydrogen, allowing light to spread throughout the universe. The simulated period, known as the Epoch of Ryanization, took place some 13 billion years ago and was challenging to reconstruct. It involves complicated, chaotic interactions between gravity, gas, radiation, or light. Numerical simulations have become the third pillar of research in the last few decades, flanking theoretical and experimental, or observational, efforts. They are particularly relevant in astrophysics because nature prevents scientists from performing controlled experiments due to the large distances, physical sizes, long timescales, or extreme densities and energies involved. In fact, the experimental setup cannot be altered in cosmology as it coincides with part or all of the universe. This disadvantage is partially alleviated by the wealth of passive observational data collected by telescopes and detectors across the electromagnetic spectrum. Thus, numerical simulations provide synthetic and controllable versions of the universe that effectively allow astrophysicists to better understand reality by transcending it. The predictions derived from these virtual experiments are only as good as the physics incorporated into the simulations, where the strength and uniqueness of Thyssen lies. Specifically, these simulations present novel opportunities to study the early universe by simultaneously including an advanced galaxy formation model, a self-consistent treatment of cosmic ionization, and a model for cosmic dust. The simulations are named Thyssen, a suite of large-volume cosmological radiation magnetohydrodynamic simulations of the epoch of ionization. Thyssen is a reference to the Etruscan goddess of the dawn, symbolic of the cosmic dawn in the early universe when hydrogen was ionized by the first stars and galaxies. The design strategy was tailored to enable unprecedented studies of both cosmic ionization and galaxy formation processes simultaneously. This is achieved by combining the successful illustrious DNG galaxy simulation framework with self-consistent radiation transport, non-equilibrium heating, cooling, realistic ionizing sources including binary stellar systems and active galactic nuclei, and a model for cosmic dust creation, evolution, and destruction. The simulations employed the state-of-the-art RPORT moving mesh hydrodynamics code and were run on some of the largest supercomputers in the world. The suite consists of a high-resolution flagship simulation with an optimal combination of physical fidelity and box size to resolve hundreds of thousands of galaxies in a patch of the universe over 300 million light-years. This is complemented by several medium-resolution runs investigating modifications in the physical model, including studies of numerical convergence, source escape fraction dependence on the galaxy mass, and alternative dark matter models. With this in project, Researchers can simulate a piece of our universe spanning over 300 million light-years across. The team can run the simulation forward in time to track and visualize the first appearance and evolution of hundreds of thousands of galaxies within this space, beginning around 400,000 years after the Big Bang and through the first billion years. The simulations were created to prepare for observations from the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, which will be able to peer further back in time, approximately 13.5 billion years than predecessors like the Hubble Space Telescope. Real telescope observations and data will soon be compared to Thyssen simulations. The simulations were created using one of the world's largest supercomputers, the Super MOOC NG, throughout 30 million CPU hours. The same simulations would have required more than 3,500 years to complete on a regular computer, 